we're saying partly the rise is because we are rightly taking some sorts of offence more seriously than we did in the past. So we now take violence against women more seriously because the system is trying to take violence against women more seriously than it did in the past. It's gone up our list of concerns, rightly so, most people would think. But then I think we should also look at other sorts of events and say maybe we're not as bothered about these as we were in the past. So maybe like we should, drug offences, for instance. Maybe we should say, actually, we should look at things like drug offences and say uh, we aren't, you know, just as we think this type of offence is more serious, we now think this type of offence is less serious than we did in the past. So you might then follow the examples of some European countries decriminalise some drug use, that kind of thing. You'd like to see that? Decriminalisation? Uh, I, I think there's an argument. I think there's a pretty strong argument for that. I didn't used to think that. Uh, I used to be quite opposed to it. And I think most uh, substances that people take are harmful to them. Right? But whether I'm less persuaded now that that's something that's sensible to deal with that through the criminal justice system, I think we should regard it as a health issue and deal with it in that way. I think if you regulated supply, you could probably reduce the harms that it does. And I, but a broader point, I think... Of, that, can I just clarify, of all drugs, or you just mean cannabis? Uh, well, well, certainly I'd start, with, I'd start with things like cannabis. I'd start with the lower-level you know, the, the, the lower drugs uh, to start with. 